hi everyone uh, in this tutorial I want to show you that how you can change or control uh, environmental variables in Windows now environmental variables are uh, some sort of a set of variables or configuration variable that Windows uses during runtime and one of the example uh, are uh, is path or uh, say class path um, java home these variables are set um, when you install any program say when you install java so the in installation directory is stored in that variable and uh, now there are certain problems that can arise uh, in initializing or maintaining those environmental variables so it would be a nice idea to take a look at them what they are or if they're not initialized how to initialize them so to do so simply we go to my computer right click on it and from there we click on properties um, after clicking on properties this window will appear and there we go to advanced system settings on the left side and, and the fourth option we are having so we click on it then this window will come and in this window in the advanced tag you are you, you, you can see this thing we're having a variable say environmental variables so there you will get uh, two zone uh, I, I should say now the first zone that tells that the variables that have been used for the mm, user means my user is Davia so uh, these are the variable names that I've been using uh, path variables for this thing and these are the system variables which are defined for all users say if the system has three users so uh, they work all for all the three users but this I these are the ones who which works for only the current user who is logged in now whatever you want to do say suppose you want to change the class path say class path here you, are, you can see these are the class path that is set by java set by the java uh, runtime now if you want to edit or any environmental variable that you want to so you can edit it by selecting it first and then click on edit and this window will appear now these are very sensitive uh, values so correct them with uh, all sorts of um, care you can do so but moreover it's also a nice idea to have a quick look at how how the system is working and one of the important part is the temp that uh, certain it happens that your browser cache got stored in the temp directory and it keeps on increasing and increasing and occupies a huge amount of size so you may change it to another directory if your C directory is full so this is how you do it remember from computer then right click on advanced advanced tab and then this variable this window will appear this one which you can see in your background and from there environmental variables and when you are finally done you simply click on ok and then again click on ok since I have made no changes so if you change the system will suddenly ask you for uh, uh, system restart which you can do which you will do to affect the changes now this is it for this tutorial and thanks for watching this video